gamers this is ngg here with another review video this time it is for warriors orochi 4 ultimate edition and i am not going to be reviewing this game by myself as i played it as a multiplayer game but we are having somebody new to our channel if you'd like to introduce yourself and introduce your channel hey everybody it's jay from cold nights gaming uh i'm a channel that focuses mainly on uh jrpgs uh, nintendo switch retro collecting and a little bit of horror and I am very happy to be on with my friend NGG today, discussing an incredible game in the Muso franchise. And we are happy to have him. So uh, we're going to cover a lot. This game was very long, so we're going to try not to, to speak too much about it. I think we both appreciate this game, but we're going to try to keep it short for you guys. And we're going to focus more on gameplay, story. If you want any control issues you had, just let us know. Um, but so first we're going to start off with story so this game is like a mixture between greek mythology and um the warriors uh ga games play so you have a mixture of all these franchises coming into this game with a mixture of so many characters from each story so the story starts out where you see like these bracelets in like this little va vacuum and you see like zeus and all the other main gods hovering over it and it sounds like they're gonna start playing games with the humans and then uh you see um one of the gods grab the the bracelet at least half of the bracelets he doesn't get them all he grabs half of the bracelets from the other gods that are, that look like they're gonna be being fudging around with the humans and he takes them to the humans and he tells them look here the the gods have some some games they want to play with you guys and for you guys to kind of protect yourself here are these bracelets uh because like they give it to like the, the gods give it to the main villains and and he gives it to i guess the main heroes of the story so you have all the franchises coming together you have the mm, samurai warriors all the orochi ones all the the dynasty warriors games all colliding into like this one mega big game so if you've ever wanted to know about all of the other ones the story hits a little bit of each kind of path when they bring them they're they're grabbing them to this world and they're being pulled into this world from their world is there anything you kind of feel like i'm missing in the story mechanics um no i think you you hit it pretty well on the head i love that in this game they do go with the Greek stuff because another game that I loved very much was Warriors Orochi 3 and they were very much focused on the Chinese and Japanese gods and mythology so it's awesome to see it move in to another realm of gods and goddesses and it just really enriches the story and it's so awesome to see it all come together I kind of lucked out where I played Orochi's 3 Ultimate and then I played Warriors All-Stars and then got into this game. So I had this like awesome hodgepodge of all these different franchises and guest characters coming in. So I loved it to death. Right. And so for me, I have it. This is my first Orochi game. So I bought after after playing this one, I bought Ultimate 3. So I haven't even discovered that this was like my first time where I've seen all these mixtures of all these different franchises come in. So it was like for me, it was like, oof. Because my last Dynasty Warriors maybe was four or five. And then I had been playing all the other kind of Warriors games here and there, sprinkled there. So to have them all in there was super amazing. And to hear the kind of stories they're going with, uh, you didn't think that it would make sense, but it, 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 they, they make it make sense for us. Um, and so that is like the story in a nutshell. I mean, obviously things happen and people do things that I don't want to kind of spoil the story for you guys, but to be fair i will let you know that this this story has like maybe especially the ultimate edition like maybe four or five different endings like so if you want a game with tons of endings this one is gonna give it to you because it has like five every time you think you're done the story is like ha got you here's some more ha here's some more and then they give you some more stories so um now we're gonna get into gameplay and we're gonna let jay start us off with all the gameplay stuff and all the gameplay mechanics so getting into this let me tell you first and foremost i am like a koi tecmo like warriors fanboy um you know i've played all the games straight through huge into samurai warriors huge into dynasty warriors huge into all the spin-offs uh so like i said this one and like warriors all-stars bringing in so many characters 
um, really enriches the gameplay and there's so many dynamics that go in. It's not just your typical Muso battle. The beauty of it is that because there's so many characters, at the character select screen, there's actually, and all the, the pictures are grayed out because you have to find the combinations yourself, but if you put certain characters that are relevant to each other in the stories of all the different franchises together, they start off with different boosts and different items and all the battles, and they also, based on their relationships with people from those franchises, have certain supports that help them more and give them more abilities and boosts and buffs and things like that. Um, they, I love the magic system in this game, especially how it's linked to the triggers. And then you can build up like a huge special magic attack where not only your team with you, but your support team all come together and do this like screen wiping incredible attack. And that's on top of your, you know, special Muso attacks and your team up attacks like there's so much, and let me tell you, one of the funny things is you get so engrossed with all of these special attacks you can do and all the combinations you can have. I think I probably played for like 10 or 15 hours before I even realized you could use mounts. Mm. And then I finally got into the horses, and of course, you have all the classic unlockables like uh, Matsukaze from the Samurai Warriors series, um, and then uh, Red Hair from Dynasty Warriors, and there's a ton of awesome DLC where you can get sleep near, you can get a unicorn, a Pegasus. There's a ton of stuff that really makes the game super unique. Now, as far as the basic gameplay, it's your normal Muso horde combat, one versus thousands, and you are super powered. And of course, you come up against your uh, your smaller generals that have a little bit of a boost and can be kind of challenging. Uh, and then, of course, you'll come against your named characters, <coughs> and they can really give you a challenge, especially on the higher difficulties. These games, I always say, it can be fun on like the easier normal mode to go through and just slaughter thousands and thousands, but when you play them on like nightmare difficulty, it can get so brutal that if you run into a crowd, especially if there's any kind of magic or archers or one of your named adversaries, they will beat you down so fast. Um, but not only is the minute to minute gameplay awesome, there's such a plethora of game modes. The towers in this are incredible and add so much to the gameplay, right? It starts with only a few towers that you go up and you have to hit uh, certain goals. Like each battle will be like, KO so many officers or so many total KOs and they get harder and harder and harder. And then finally you get up to like the infinite tower, which goes up to like a hundred levels. And there's of course trophies and achievements tied to all that. And that's how you can befriend and have more characters join your party so you can make better and stronger parties with more uh, dynamics between the series. So there's literally so much, and that's not even touching the multiplayer. Right. Uh, did, you, did you play this game on multiplayer? Because I know I did. So I had more or less completed the game, and I did play with a few of my friends on multiplayer, and it was very fun. But as far as making progress in the game, uh, I had pretty much completed everything. Like I said, I played on PlayStation, um, so I was like one trophy away from 100%ing it. I had got the Platinum, but being able to play with one of my other friends who also had really high level characters and stuff and just go around and enjoy the Muso experience with somebody. Um, I think the first time I ever did that was in Dynasty Warriors 8, and that was so fun. And it was really fun in this too. It really is basically um, all of the fun and enjoyment of the single player game just with a pal and it really <laughs> makes it cool so i let me let me do let me touch on the the multiplayer um because that's how i exclusively played this game i exclusively played it with somebody on my discord uh on the multiplayer mode the only thing i will say well there's a few things i want to say about multiplayer but the one thing that i hated about multiplayer is that it's not cross progression on the switch i don't know about in the playstation but on the switch if i if i play and he's going on my the person is going alongside me he's not getting any of the extra characters he's not getting any of the story related people only i am we would have to play on his and mine's the same now this game is already long like i told you we would have to play the same story on his and mine's if i wanted 
if we wanted to get the both characters he said he didn't mind so we just went through on minds but for me i, I felt kind of bad because he's like oh that character is cool looking i kind of want that character and i was like mm, uh you would have to play your own story mode in order to get that character so uh, that was like the one biggest pet peeve i had i wish like there was an option whether you check like yes i want to cross progress no i don't want to cross progress and then you make the option whether you want to cross progress or you don't and you just want to play in that person's world and level up your your army you did that wasn't the experience you had on the playstation right uh i, I don't believe there was cross progression either but what i think really helps though is with the leveling because another part that i didn't mention about the progression in the gameplay is that you can rebirth your character every time they hit level 100. And you rebirth them, they go back down to one, and then I wanna say there was 10 stars you could get to the point where you max out all of their stats. Um, getting to level 100 isn't the end of the progression. You can rebirth them using those stones. So it really wouldn't be that bothersome, at least for me, to have to play through with someone over and over again because you literally have to play that much on your your own to max out all the characters too. So I would be okay with playing with you if even though I'm not getting progression, I'm still getting to level at least because there's literally endless grinding. And I know some people hate grinding, <laughs> I love it. So I was in heaven just grinding my favorite teams of characters. And as you're, as you're accumulating more points and more uh, you know currency, then you can also be leveling people up at the camp so they're getting stronger while you're playing with your main characters right i mean i guess i mean i i i'm gonna be honest i don't do more than one playthrough um so that's why whenever i kept hitting a uh, end screen i was like oh well i'm done oh no i'm not oh i'm done no no i'm not so i don't usually now i love muso games but just because of the length of this game i think base game just base game on the ultimate edition took me about 150 160 hours and this was not doing any of the other stuff that you said, the towers. I didn't even get the different mounts. I didn't get any of that. I didn't rebirth my character. Like I didn't even know that was a thing. So I didn't do a lot of that extra stuff. And it was already like hard to play uh, multiplayer. I guess it's because he didn't have the character options that I did. So like he couldn't change. I did like that we can change the, the main weapon. So like if your character has one of the legendary weapons um attached to the bracelet you can change it for another character that has that bracelet weapon so i ended up figuring that out kind of at the end and because i needed to do like this mission where it was like kill certain amount of people in like three minutes and i was having a hard time with that so i mean i really like playing with the person but i like i said i never completed it I, I didn't go as far as you did i didn't go as hardcore i'm not as hardcore in this in this orochi game i did like that we had lots of characters but i also didn't know about the familiar thing i kept picking characters from different different places so i had one from dynasty warriors i had one from the samurai warriors and i had one from the orochi warriors all and those were the three characters i mainly played as so i didn't i didn't i didn't know about that i did know about the group family attack and I know for me with attacking, there was like, they wanted you to do certain kinds of magic attacks. And I was like, always having to look up which button presses this way and which button presses that way. Cause I was like, oh man, what button does that attack? I don't even remember. Cause I would, to be fair, when it's a Muso game, I'm hacking and slashing and whatever move comes out is whatever move comes out for me. I don't know if you, you, you are the same way with Muso games. Yeah. I mean, I... I get pretty good at memorizing like the attack map, so I'll be pretty good at like varying up my like weak and strong attacks. Uh, but I will say I did have a little bit of a different experience than you did because um, I played this game from the minute it came out. So I played the original release and then I ported my data over to the Ultimate Edition. So when I had loaded it up earlier today to review for our video that we were shooting, I was like, wait, I only played 85 hours, and I was like, oh wait, no, that's on Ultimate. I probably put more than 100 hours into the original game uh, when it came out and then ported my data over. Uh, so I definitely feel you with the hours that get put into it. Um, and that's why I was like maxing everyone out, because literally I'm like 200 hours in, and I played from the beginning, and I got Ultimate when it came out, moved my data over, then I got the DLCs and all that, so yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely started with the ultimate. I I didn't get I didn't even know there was another version. To be fair, 
I found out about this. I like I just walked into a GameStop and saw it there, and I was like, "What? I've never seen this game. I kind of want it." Now knowing how long they are, I'm like, <clears throat> maybe I'll think twice. No, I'll still get them, but I'll think twice about how I'm gonna shrug. Because it took me not to lie, it took me like three or four months. Because I was playing with this specific person, so we played every every week, maybe a couple of hours, and that's not gonna add up quickly if you're doing once a week every like maybe two hours a day uh, a day so it took us months to beat this game um i'm pretty sure you were able to go straight through unlike me <laughs> um but um is there anything else you want to add about gameplay before we move into a rating um no i i just would say that if you enjoyed the gameplay in this game definitely check out warriors 3 uh, Orochi, the Ultimate Edition. And also, uh, if you like this kind of giant ensemble cast, um, the Pirate Warriors games for One Piece are awesome too. And all of those basically came out at the same time on Switch. They ported a ton of them over. Um, so before, you could only get most of them on like PlayStation. And then, I want to say it was like about two years ago, all of these came out at once on the Switch. And it was like, holy crap, I gotta buy them all there and play them all there too. So, it was pretty cool. Yeah, I, we, uh, I've already reviewed the Pirate Warriors 4 one. I wish that the 3 one would have come stateside. Like, I have to import that one. Like, I had to import 3 because 3 didn't come stateside. I had to import that one, Warriors Orochi 3 Ultimate. And then Pirate Warriors is the only one that came stateside. Everything else was like an import. And I know you don't like to import anything. You If, you, if it's not in stores, you're not picking it up, right? <clears throat> right, but, but on PlayStation, Pirate Warriors 3 was available here, so. Nice. All right, so let's get a rating. So um, our rating system, guys, is from one to five. So five being the best, one being the worst. What would you rate a Warriors Orochi for? For I guess for yours is for the PlayStation. Mine's will be for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, so I did. I do have it on the Switch, oh. um, and there's just a slight slowdown and a little less performance as far as like frames. Um, but I would say overall. Um, for the Ultimate Edition, I would probably give it a four and a half um, because it is not my favorite uh, Musou game ever, but the amount of enjoyment and time and the varied characters and combat styles in it and for all of the systems in it, it's almost a perfect game. Almost. Uh, I will say that it is a little long in the tooth at the end, especially if you do the DLC. Um, like I said, I put more than 150 hours into it, and I'm at 98% on my trophies because the final trophy to get the 100% on the DLC is to get every single character's ultimate weapon, and that's impossible. <laughs> so uh, 4.5, definitely recommend it, um, but it is not my favorite Muso game ever. I'm very curious. Will you tell us which is your favorite Muso game? All right, so my current favorite would definitely be Samurai Warriors 4-2. Oh, okay. I, I, I only have Samurai Warriors 5. I've never played any of them yet. So after this one, I was like, I'm definitely picking up 5. I think that's the only one that's available on the Switch. So I only get anything that's available on, on, on Nintendo consoles. So if they didn't come to Nintendo consoles, I don't own them, unfortunately. Um, so for me... I would, I actually, before you even said your score, I was thinking the same thing. This is 4.5 for me as well. Um, this is a very long game, so you are going to get your money's worth for this game. Even if you're paying the $60 price tag, I, I literally spent 150 plus hours on this game. It was a very long game. Story was very good. I, it never felt like it was convoluted with all the different characters coming in. They definitely merged them in a way that they all seemed to come together, but you, you, you knew they were all parts of different franchises, which I loved. I loved that they all came from different places. They made them seem like they belonged together. And in the end, the story made sense. Like, like even when it ended one time, the extra, like the second ending, I was like, oh yeah, that, that, that makes sense. Yeah, we can keep going from there. And oh, the third ending, that sure, that makes sense too. It never didn't make sense to me as a story. And I definitely love Greek mythology. So uh, anything Greek mythology on there, guys. So yeah, 4.5 for me as well. Um, Jay, do you want to let the nice people on the YouTube know where to find you again while you give us your exit ticket? Uh, for sure. Uh, so 
on Twitter, um, Cold Nights got me one because I got locked out of my original account. Um, and then on YouTube, Cold Nights Gaming. Uh, and yeah, that's where you can find me. Uh, I always do cool collabs with my friends like NGG and a whole bunch of other folks. So I hope to see you around. Yep, all well, his links will be in the descriptions below so you'll know where to find him. And we want to thank Jay for coming along and uh, reviewing this game along with us. I know we didn't play it specifically together, but we definitely had uh, co-op experience with others. And we, we can tell attest to the co-op experience being a great one. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy gaming, guys. Bye.